That's Nothrone, I, Cuss. And welcome to our late Cretaceous TV show, No, Your Dinosaurs! Joining me today are my best buddies, Custard and Ronnie. Hi! We're talking about what makes us really different from other dinos. Custard, any thoughts? Um, we're on TV? Uh, good try, but no. Even though we're theropods, we don't eat meat. You see, most theropods are carnivores. Great, now I'm hungry. Oh, oh, I've got one. We have very fine feathers covering our whole bodies. Mm-hmm. What else is different about us from most dinos? We have these long claws for snipping leaves and branches. And our teeth aren't sharp, but they're perfect for matching up plants. And we drool when we chew with our mouths open. I'm not drooling. Let's not forget that we need to eat a lot because we're really big. As big as this giraffe fella here. All right, all right, thanks for coming on the show. We live in what is now called New Mexico. And that's our show! Join us next time in the late Cretaceous period as we discuss asteroids, real or are they a myth? So, who wants to get something to eat? Welcome to the late Jurassic period 150 million years ago. I'm Othnelia. You say that Oth, Ni, Li, Ya. <laughs> and I'm in the best game of tag I've ever played. Hey, hey, he's right behind us. Nah, he'll never tag us. We're way too fast. I mean, look at me. I'm built for speed. My stiff tail gives me balance to make super sharp turns. You can't tag me. Come here, you little herbivore. I'm not playing. I need to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, right. Why are you chasing me if you're not playing? He's right about me being a herbivore. That's a plant eater. But I'm not that little. I'm about the same size as a big dog. But with my tail, I'm much, much longer. Sorry, Al. You'll have to be quicker than that to tag me. I have lots of room to run around here in what's now known as Wyoming, USA. Come back here. I uh, uh, just need to tell you something. Hey! Why'd you stop? Okay, fine. What did you want to tell me? Well, it's very serious. It's very, very serious. Tag. You're it. Nah. I can't believe I fell for that. Ready or not, here I come. You say it. Pteranodon, and it means winged and toothless. That's right. In my beak, I have no teeth. Do you want to know a secret? Hey, Pteranodon, I'm going to the picnic now. Oh, the dino picnic. Really? Do you think I can come? Yeah, sure. Every dino can. Remember that secret I want to tell you? Well... The secret is that I'm not a... So, okay. Let's go. I'm from what is now Kansas, in the USA. 
but that's not the secret. Secret? I love secrets. I have hollow bones to make me light, and I have a huge wingspan, about 10 meters wide. That's as wide as a hand glider. That's not a secret, Pteranodon. Okay, fine. Do you want to know my secret? Well, here it is. I'm not a dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. I'm not a dino at all. I'm a flying reptile. I'm related to the dinosaurs, but not actually one myself. I guess I can't come to the dinosaur picnic now. By the way, dinosaur means great lizard. As far as I'm concerned, it also means friend. Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, T-Rex. You're the best. My best friend and I are going on a picnic. See you later. Sinosopterex. That's Sinosopterex. It means Chinese lizard wing. On account of the fact that I'm from China. And I am one of the first bird like dinosaurs from 130 million years ago. My arms, ta da, are covered with the neat little feathers. However, I can run really, really fast with my powerful legs. Hey, what are you doing? It's super cool. All you have to do is tuck and you slide all the way down. Eh, it's awfully far down. And though I may not be very big, I'm all carnivore. Mmm, meat. Come on, let's go! Um, uh, don't rush! Me! Oops! <laughs> oh well, I have the longest tail of any theropod dino. Sometimes it gets in the way. Yeah, well, it's my turn now. See you later. Yes, the famous Velociraptor. The Lossa Raptor. It means speedy thief. See my long tail? It lets me run really fast. <sighs> but not for too long. Didn't know I had feathers, huh? I need them to keep me warm. Because, well, 85 million years ago, it sometimes got pretty cold around here. And where is here? It's what is now known as Northern China. I'm not very big either. If you compare me to my cousins like the T-Rex, but like them, I'm a meat eater and I walk on two legs. But I'm just about the size of a big turkey. I hunt in a pack. In fact, this whole time my pack has been watching us. Eva! Like spending a day playing with your friends. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Bye. Ha! 
Hi, everyone. I'm a woolly mammoth. You can call me Wooly. My name says it all. I'm big, I'm fuzzy, and I'm lost. I mean, really. How could I find my herd if everything is covered in snow? Welcome to the Ice Age. 100,000 years ago, I guess. Eep. Hey, what's the big deal? <laughs> My long shaggy hair and my thick layer of underwool keeps me dry and warm. So throwing snowballs won't do anything! Plus, I have special skin which oils up the hair to make me even warmer. Yeah. Aha! I have an idea. <laughs> mm. I use my super long tusk to shovel the snow to uncover this yummy grass. How will I ever be able to eat it all by myself? Ha ha ha. I'm a little bigger than the biggest elephant, but my ears are much smaller than an elephant's. I come from the cold northern part of the world where scientists have found entire woolly mammoths, hair and everything frozen in the ice. People usually get mixed up and think I'm a dinosaur, but I'm really an Ice Age animal. Yeep! Okay, wise guy. <laughs> he got me all right, but at least he knows where the herd is. I thought you knew where they were. period 150 million years ago. My name means super lizard because I'm so big. One of the biggest dinos ever. You gonna eat those? Yes, Charlie. I'm going to eat those. We have to eat all day long. It's the only way we can grow this big. Uh, I feel faint. I'm wasting away. <laughs> I need to eat something. But right now, I have to find a pond or river so my herd can have a drink after we mow this field. Uh, water, water, I need water. I'm 43 meters long and 16 meters high. That's supersized, all right. <sighs> so thirsty, I'm delirious. Mother, 
Is that you? No, Charlie, I'm not your mom. She's back there with the rest of the herd. My neck is really long, but I don't lift it up high as it's too heavy, but it's perfect for pushing through the trees to find more food or, hey, water. Hey, don't take it all, it's my turn. Come on, move over. Don't worry, Charlie. There's plenty for everyone. I'm gonna tell the herd I found water. We live in what is now Western Colorado in the USA. Hey everyone, there's water in the conifer forest over there. You gonna eat those? Pinacosaurus. Say it with me. Pinacosaurus. That means plank lizard because of our armor plates. Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 78 million years ago. This is my band. We don't have a name yet, but that's Ying, that's Yang, and I'm Pin. Wait! Not until I say go. We're ankylosaurs. That means we're armored dinos. We also have big clubs in our tails for defending ourselves. Or making music. No, no, no! I wasn't starting the song. I was showing everyone how I defend myself against a carnivorous dinosaur. <laughs> when our band goes on our first tour, we're gonna leave from what is now China. In fact, we're the best known dinosaurs from China. We'll soon be the best known dino band too. Oops! Very funny! These spikes and armor help us to defend ourselves, but they can make it tricky to get around. We're medium sized at five meters long. We're much longer than a golf cart, but we're only one meter high, same as a mailbox. Like other ankylosaurus, we have a beak, which helps us cut low growing plants. We're like dino lawnmowers. Hey, what a great name for our band. Let's show them what the dino lawnmowers are made of. So, enjoy the show. period. You haven't seen three of my herd around here, have you? My name is Scootalosaurus. That's Scootalosaurus, but you can call me Scoots. My friends and I like to hide from each other. My name means little shield lizard. My shield is made up of all these little armor plates. They help to defend me and hide me. I'm a bipedal herbivore, which means I eat plants and walk around on my two back legs, but I am top heavy. Now, where did those guys go? I'm from what is now Arizona in the United States of America. I have a beak and special teeth, which allows me to eat all these tasty plants. Oh no, not the Dilophosaurus again. Come here, you little morsel. Jump in my mouth. What? Where'd he go? That's better. I'm safer here with you, right? See, I'm just a little guy. I'm about the same size as you. Now, if I was my herd, where would I hide? Hmm? Hmm? Oh well, maybe if you come back later you'll see them. But you'll have to look closely. Bye! <laughs> Hi, I'm 
Plesiosaurus. You say that Plesiosaurus. My name needs near lizard, and this is the early Jurassic period 180 million years ago. I have to gather up the babies and get them to school. Okay, it's time for school, you three. Our four flippers let us move through the water as easily as flying through the air. It's our best defense against predators bigger than us here in the water. Oh my, now where do they go? And this is the other defense we have against predators. We blend into the underwater scenery. <laughs> Got you! I'm a medium-sized plesiosaurus, as you can see. I'm only slightly larger than a human being. Oh, and plesiosaurus are not actually dinosaurs. We're big reptiles who live in the water. The way you can tell us apart from dinosaurs is what our legs look like. Mine are springing like this, and dinosaur legs go up and down like a human's. Anyway, plesiosaurus eat lots of fish, and our teeth are mesh, so when we grab a fish, we never let go. Our fossils have been found in many places because a lot of the Earth was covered with water in the Jurassic period. See? I got you to go to school after all. I think it's time for recess, don't you? Let's go to the top for some air. Bye! Setiosaurus here. Let me say it slowly for you. Setiosaurus. Ah. Setiosaurus means whale lizard. And I am pretty big, aren't I? <laughs> I'm a herbivore, like other sauropods, such as Apotosaurus and Diplodocus. Sometimes, being heavy has its advantages. But, unlike other dinos, I'm really heavy. It's because my bones are solid, <laughs> not hollow. <laughs> I lived along what is now known as Europe. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hardly any other dinos can eat me, but you don't want to meet the ones who can. Well, gotta go find my herd. Safety in numbers, you know. <laughs> Goodbye! Here, closer, closer, too close. Ah, that's better. My name is Dilophosaurus. That's Dilophosaurus. I live here in the early Jurassic period. That's 200 million years ago. Whoa, look at that. Two cicades. One, two. I love the number two. Dilophosaurus means two crested lizard. See? One, two. Two crests. Ha! I'm a theropod. That means I run on two legs. Two. And it also means that I eat meat. Two dinners to go. Yum and yummier. Hmm. I live in what is now known as Arizona in the USA. 
I am the great, 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 great granddaddy of modern day birds. But I'm a lot bigger. In fact, I'm the biggest meat eater alive here in the Jurassic period. And here are my two favorite twos. My kids. What do you say we play two games of tag and find two snacks and pick two plants for mom? Great. See you tomorrow. Mashiachosaurus. You say it like this, ma she a -casaurus. And my name means vicious lizard. Whoa! The late Cretaceous period, about 68 million years ago, was a total blast. Yahoo! Ah! And I'm a theropod, like the T-Rex, so I eat meat. But check these out. Okay, I look like I need to go to the dentist. But seriously, these teeth were made for fishing. Hey, why can't we all just get along? Because Mashiachosaurus needs to eat. So the fish. Yikes! Fish food, I mean. Mashiachosaurus, off from what's now called Madagascar. Yum, 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 yum. And stay out! Thrown out of a lake by a fish. How embarrassing. Don't they know I'm a theropod, like a T-Rex? <coughs> Whoa there, Rex. Will it help to know that he's not much bigger than a dog? <coughs> I wasn't talking to you, T-Rex! But fish isn't the only thing I eat. Jackpot! Mmm, time for lunch. See you guys later. Oh, hi there. I'm an Abelothorus, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Ah, chew! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Want to hear it? <laughs> you have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> One of the things that's unique about abelosauruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. We abelosauruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds because there's only one thing you can do and that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon because I want the whole world to know about Abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay. Argentinosaurus. 
That's Argentino Soros. I'm trying to hide. <laughs> oh no, this is not a good place to hide. You see, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, but I don't think I'm very good at it. I am from what is now known as Argentina. That is in South America. Ugh. This is hopeless. I am too big to hide. That's what you get when you're over 70 metric tons and 23 meters long. I am even longer than three school buses. Mmm, yum! As a herbivore, I love eating plants. That bush looks too delicious. What are you doing? You're eating my hiding place. I am sorry I get so hungry. I need to eat 45 kilograms of food a day. And all this running and hiding, well, it just made me hungrier. Aha, got you both. You two are really bad at this game. I think I'm just too big for this game. But maybe we can play something else. Whee! forest here in the late Jurassic period over 150 million years ago. That's a super duper long time ago. My name is Dryosaurus. High five. It's pretty easy to say my name. Dryosaurus. It means oak lizard. This is a cheek tooth. Sort of shaped like an oak leaf, don't you think? I come from Tanzania. with meat eaters like him, they're always trying to get to know me better. Personally, I like knowing trees and plants. You know, with a little sprig or two of fern. That's just yummy. I might be little, but I'm fast. How little? I'm three meters long. Okay, you probably noticed that I'm always running, but that's how I protect myself. Some dinosaurs have horns or really sharp teeth and claws, but I run really fast. And my tail helps me stay balanced when I make really sharp turns, like this. Woo, that's gonna leave a mark. Awesome turn you did there, dude. High tail. <laughs> On the down low. Hey. Oops, gotta go. Bye. Now that's fast food. Hi there. I'm an Afrosaurus. That's E. La. Fro. Saurus. It means nimble, or lightweight lizard. Watch me. Hey, come over here. Over here. Yeah, this way. I'm gonna race with that Brachiosaurus back there. Not that is much of a contest. I'm one of the fastest dinosaurs around. Ooh, what a nice rock. I'm so fast I can even take time out and sun myself. I can stand faster than he can run. I have no worries. Ah, that's alive. Oh yes, I'm super fast. And that's got a lot to do with the way I'm built. You see, I'm a carnivore, so I eat meat. I'm perfectly built for chasing smaller animals out here in the plain. And how am I built, you ask? See, 
I'm long and lean. And these long legs may be perfect for running. And my tail helps me stay balanced when I turn. And I'm light. I weigh about 210 kilograms. Which is why I don't have to worry about... Hey! Where'd he go? I don't believe this. Brachiosaurus won. How could this be? I'm way faster than Brachiosaurus. Fine. I suppose if I had done less talking and more running, I would have won the race. Okay, you. Get up! I challenge you to another race! Right, let's get on with it then. I am Eotyrannus, and this is the early Cretaceous period, over 130 million years ago. Oh, these two young sprouts here are juvenile Eotyrannuses. And fine young fellows they'll turn out to be, I can assure you. Today, I'm about to teach these fine young fellows how to hunt the mighty... Comsonathus. Yay! Eotyrannus fossils have been discovered in these parts of what is now Britain. It's where Comsonathuses are found as well. And Comsonathuses just happen to be our favorite meal. Isn't that right, chaps? Now, some of you may think that all members of the Tyrannosaur family are to be found in either Asia or North America. The fact is, we're all over the map. My name, Eo Tyrannus, means early tyrant lizard. Yes, we Tyrannosaurs are certainly the most ferocious carnivores. That means meat eater to have ever walked the face of the earth. Why? Eh? What's all that racket then? Where was I? Oh, yes. Now, we Eotyrannuses are a bit smaller than our cousins, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But we're just as skilled as the next chap when it comes to what we're really good at. Namely, hunting the mighty Comsonathus. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today, right chaps? Now the most important thing about hunting the mighty Comsonathus, keep your eyes and ears open at all times. Ready Sprouts? Let the Comsonathus hunt begin! Ah, greetings! Allow me to introduce myself. I I'm Sonornithoids. A theropod is a bipedal omnivore, which means I walk on two legs and I'll eat just about anything, meat or plant. And welcome to what is now known as China in the Middle Cretaceous period. It is said that I, Sonornithoids, am one of the most intelligent dinosaurs to have ever lived. And many scientists have concluded that my brain is larger than other dinos. True, I'm not the largest dinosaur out there, but sheer size isn't everything. Take the modern turkey, for example. He and I are about the same size, but the differences between us are obvious. He's a bird brain. <laughs> It is said that I, Sinornithoids, am not only very smart, but also disciplined and precise, especially when I'm on the hunt. Here, let me show you some of my moves. Ha! This is a position I like to call Feathered Dragon Leaping. Observe and learn. Oh, uh, well, it seems I'm a little tied up at the moment. Please come back real soon. Yeah. Ooh. 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 